Origami Tactical has once again revolutionized battle space mindset on every operator's essential diurnal cache, or commonly known as EDC. There are five equipment classifications of focus to form the most complete tactical loadout. Utility, apparel, medical, technology, and offensive. Because this is America, offensive capabilities are forefront. Origami Tactical's preference in firearms has always been with Heckler & Coke. Please sponsor me, HK Senpai. Carry position is extremely personal, with pros and cons with each methodology. But predicting necessary combat matrix outcomes is impossible, so Origami Tactical highly suggests every operator carry multiple munitions payload distributors in each orientation. This ultimately maximizes kill zone potential while adapting the operator for all outcomes of threat engagement. Having the guns in the appendix, hip, and rear carrying options allows for complete adaptation of every combat situation. Operator Frontier carries the VP9 in the appendix position, which allows for quick target acquisition and death blossom mode. Multiple target acquisition! Death blossom mode. The USP compact is located laterally in the P30SK in the dorsal position. Allowing for dual building max paint style reloading sequences. And the best John Wick experience any operator could ask for. Since all magazines are interchangeable, there's never a shortage of ammunition for each firearm. Hornady, Critical Defense, and Critical Duty are Frontier's bullet of choice. However, not every situation requires or warrants usage of both. Many confrontations can be ended with interpersonal de-escalation skills. But for less than lethal close-range physical encounters, knives and daggers are a vital force multiplier to each operator's attack level and survivability rating. Carrying a multitude of knives will only increase operator efficiency and tacticality. The SOCP Dagger, Flager Havoc, and CRKT Minimalist are all suitable for these tasks. Arsenal only makes up a small percentage of the EDC loadout. Being prepared for any non-combat situation is just as imperative for mission success. The Leatherman Skeletal CX supplies an assortment of practical tools. A sturdy set of pliers. Screwdriver with Phillips and flathead bits. Bottle opener and carabiner combo. And a robust 154CM steel blade for added stealth lethality. The Poker Plus carbon fiber tactical pen is bolt action operating with refillable ink cartridges. This is a perfect solution for writing down strategic battle space analysis. The Ridge Wallet easily holds credit cards in any multi-pass the operator possesses. Lilu Dallas multi-pass. Yeah. Multi Lila and multi -pass. you know this multi -pass. Each card is accessible by fanning out the wallet, similar to how Katana operates her blades. Your life ends now. Lumen emitters are essential in low-light, low-vis scenarios. The Olight S1R baton offers many modes for illumination, as well as an ingenious rechargeable battery cell and a magnetic tail cap. It also attaches itself onto the brim of any standard baseball cap. However, it definitely works best on the official Frontier Center hat. Merch coming soon! On the topic of outerwear, it is indispensable for each operator's outfit to suit mission parameters. As a civilian, Origami Tactical applies Gray Man Theory to every ensemble. Tactical pants come with gussets, which boost operator agility skill for advanced evasive maneuvers. The official Frontier Center hat gives more than adequate solar protection when worn properly, and when turned backwards, will transform the operator into a Pokemon Master. I wanna be the very best. Merch coming soon. The operator's keys are attached via belt loop using official HK sling hooks. The Victorinox Mini Champ also provides secondary multi-tool functions. One of the most crucial components to any wardrobe is the gun belt. Operator Frontier is currently donning Boxer Tactical's Apogee Belt. The durable biothane material and aluminum ratchet mechanism easily converts this into a spare tourniquet. Origami Tactical does not advise anyone to use this as an actual TQ. You will hemorrhage, go into hyperbolic shock, and fucking die. A rat's tourniquet is easily stored beneath the operator's belt line using John Lavelle's carry technique. As for holsters, T5 Custom Kydex, G-Code, Dara, Last Line of Defense have all been proven tough and effective. The Casio DW5600E series, Timepiece, is outfitted with bull bars for improved ruggedization. Frontier's daily driver phone is produced by Razer. The retro aesthetic seamlessly blends modern hardware with classic appeal, perfect for synthwave fans. This has been a quick operator EDC overview. 
Please like the video, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more tactical content. And always remember to stay tactically kawaii. Whee!